Hi, Your Excellency. It's great to see you. Good to see you. Kella, how are you doing? Good. You know, we really appreciate you being part of this launch announcement. We're very proud to have you. And this is still very early days in a major technological transformation that's happening globally. I think you're one of the people who's inspired us on that front. You know, continue to be bold and dream big and think about, okay, well, if we achieve this, and this is now table stakes, you know, what could this look like in five years? What could this look like in 10 years? The growth and the, the value of uh, this partnership uh, more or less speaks for itself. Maybe today it looks obvious, but I don't think it looked obvious in 2016 when you first bet on us. For sure not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when we originally launched in Rwanda in 2016, we were a team of 15 nerds and all of the experts we spoke to told us that this idea wasn't going to work. You were really the first person who, who, who bet on Zipline as a team and on this idea. Why did you do that? If we look at even our history and where we have come from, it has been that of a lot of difficulties, but uh, we also understand we have to do things and move on. So much as it looked difficult from the beginning, uh, doing what we did together, uh, we, we, we thought we needed to try. And we are looking at three things really coming together. It's about people, it's about technology, it's about the innovation is in between to make things work, to improve people's lives, if you will. And I remember, I remember sitting with you at our first distribution center in Muhanga in 2016. At that time, you know, we started by just trying to deliver blood to 21 different hospitals in the country. And I remember you, you spent a whole hour with us and we're emphasizing that you thought, you know, one day this would be delivering all medical products, not just to hospitals and health facilities, but also directly to homes. As the system has expanded over the last seven years to not just to basically exactly what you said, all medical products to every hospital and health facility in the country. Did that always seem obvious to you or did you find it surprising to see to see the system scale in the way that it did? So it wasn't very obvious, but we just believed in the idea itself and, and that of trying as well. The beauty of it, the moment you make one step forward and you see there is progress, then you, you even want to do more uh, every time at every stage. I, I, I was always uh, convinced, much as I wasn't uh, necessarily sure, <laughs> that, that something good can come out of it. You know, it's funny, I've not heard that distinction before, but I think that's a perfect description of how I felt as well. Mm. You know, not sure that it would work, but convinced that we had to try. Yeah. And one can use this particular case of our partnership, uh, Zipline and, and, and Rwanda, uh, as a case in the point uh, of uh, transformation of uh, economic prosperity that changes people's lives for the better. Uh, the, what matters is the scale now. I remember when we originally launched in Rwanda in 2016, we were doing somewhere between five and 10 flights per day from our first distribution center. Uh, today, Zipline's busiest distribution centers in the world are in Rwanda. Some of them are now doing 350 flights in a day. Wow, <laughs> so that's, that's a really good one. Yeah. When we think about where this goes from here, I'm curious, you know, if you, especially focusing on this next generation product, what do you think that will enable in terms of healthcare access and economic growth? A lot. It now starts getting into other very profitable and productive uh, areas of uh, even e-commerce. Somebody sitting here says, I need this. The product is just uh, at the doorstep. And, and then people getting involved with that, those uh, behind the technology itself, but also those playing into the market, saving time and money and uh, everything else. Universal access to delivery is uh, responding to the needs. If we believe we can change things and 
move as fast as we can to where others are is, is serving well society. That's what people really want. Well, thank you again for joining us, Your Excellency. I guess one last question. Yeah. Are you going to let uh, are you going to let us add your house as one of the first delivery sites as we launch this new product at the end of this year? Let's make it to the first. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs>